Hi everybody, if you want to add Mexico to your American Truck Simulator driving experience, this is the video for you. Now this free map download adds challenging drives, beautiful scenery, amazing destinations, all wrapped within an envelope of just outstanding Mexican culture. It comes highly recommended. In this video, we're going to learn how to install the mod and activate the mod in our game. And to do so, we need to do three things and we'll take them each in order. First, we have to download the correct files. Second, we have to unzip and install the files into our American Truck Simulator game. And then last, we have to activate the mods and get them in the right load order in the game. We'll walk through each step in turn. It's not hard. You can do this. Let's get started. Let's take care of step one, which is to download the correct files into our game. Now, there's two essential files that everybody needs, and they're not available in the Steam Workshop. You have to go to a different site and download them. If you also have some additional map mods installed into your American Truck Simulator game, you might need some additional files. We'll talk about that next. But these are the two main files. It's called Reforma and then Reforma Mega Resources that you absolutely need to install in order to get Mexico to work. So I'm on Truckee Mods right now. I'll put links to these two pages on Truckee Mods so you can download the two essential files down in the description here so you can use those. But we can see up the top, this is called Reforma. Now you might be wondering, say, wait a second, I want to download Mexico. What's Reforma? Well, Team Reforma is the group that makes the Mexico mod. They make a bunch of other mods too, but Reforma is what they call their main mod, which is the Mexico mod. So I want to make sure that I'm on this page. It says Reforma at the top, and then I'm going to download it. But don't press that button yet. There's two things we want to check. First up, on the right hand side, you'll see this little thing called compatibility. And it says 1.49. This is the version of American Truck Simulator that this map mod words works with. So you want to make sure that in your game, you're running the same version that this map mod is. Sometimes after the game gets updated, it can take a few days or a couple weeks for a map mod to get updated, in which case you might have to wait for Team Reforma to update the mod before you're going to download it. Now, if you're not sure what version of the game you're running in American Truck Simulator, when you load up the game in the bottom right hand corner, it shows you the version of the game. I know I'm running version 1.49. The compatibility here says 1.49, so I'm good to go. But don't click that download yet. There's one other thing we need to check. The Mexico mod uses a lot of resources from the DLCs in American Truck Simulator. So there are some dependencies in the game that you have to make sure you have. And they're listed here under this dependencies tag. We can see it right here. If I click on that, it's going to show me the DLCs that I need in order to be able to run Mexico. Now you might be wondering like, why would I need Idaho to run Mexico? Well, like I mentioned, when SCS adds a new state as a DLC, they add a lot of resources and Team Reformer uses those resources down in Mexico. So if you don't have them, it's going to look weird. Things aren't going to work right. It's going to break. Now, you need most of the DLCs. It looks like you don't need like Oklahoma and Kansas, according to this list, but you do want to check to make sure you've got those. If you don't, I'm sorry, this just won't work. So with those two, those two checkpoints passed, now I can come up here and I can click and I'm going to download this uh, Reforma mod. It's just going to fire up and your download will start shortly. It's All right. Wait. So I get thanks for downloading and I can see that it's popped up. This is going right down into my downloads folder. That's step one of this. I do also have to do the same thing here with this Reforma Mega Resources. Exact same thing. You don't have to worry. If you pass the dependencies on the Reforma, the dependencies are going to be the same here. So then once again, I've already downloaded this, downloaded this so I'm not going to do it again. But you just click on download and that'll launch a second download. And now we have successfully completed the, the, the essential file download we need to install Mexico into your game. Now, if you don't have any other map mods installed in your American Truck Simulator game, you're done with step one. You can go on to step two by using the chapter down below, which will talk about how to install the mods into the game. If you do have other map mods installed into your American Truck Simulator game, stick around and watch this next part because you might need a couple of other files to download. Now, why is this happening? Well, let's just take a second to explain. When you download a map mod into American Truck Simulator and install it, it changes some of the roads in American Truck Simulator's base game, right? And it has to kind of match up. The mod roads and the, the, the original American Truck Simulator roads have to match up. Well, if you have another map mod that's installed nearby, that's going to change the roads in American Truck Simulator too. So if you install those two map mods, they're not going to match up. Roads are going to end up in nowhere. Things don't kind of connect very well. So mod, uh, map mod makers make what are called connector files. 
that connect these two different mods that you've installed in the game. So basically what it means is we have to just download an additional very, very tiny map file that serves as a connector between two map mods that we've got in the game. So if you have Project Better Arizona in the game, you're gonna need a connector patch. If you have Minor Urban Overhaul, you're going to need a connector patch. If you have the Coast to Coast mod or the Great Mist Midwest expansion, you're going to need a connector patch. And let's talk a little bit about how to do those, but the process is basically all the same. Here is the Project Better Arizona Reforma connection, just like what it sounds, right? If you've got Project Better Arizona installed in your game and Reforma installed in the game, we need a file that's gonna connect these two map mods and not break your game. So you're just gonna come here, the compatibility check again, and just click download. That's good. I'm not going to do that because I've already got these downloaded and things like that. Likewise, if you have the MUO, which is Minor Urban Overhaul mod installed in your game, you're going to need the Minor Urban Overhaul Reforma compatibility patch. Same kind of thing. I'm going to click on download and download the file. Lastly, if I have here, and this one isn't on Truckee Mods, so I've put it here on all mods. I've picked it up on allmods.net. But if you have these ones that are over my head here, Coast to Coach, uh, Coast to Coach, Canada Dream, Midwest Expansion, or Montana Expansion, if you're running any of those, you're going to want this one as well, which is the Reforma Compatibility Other Maps patch. And this file you download from right here, and you can check the version. It says right at the end, 149, which stands for version 1.49. Likewise, I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to download it again, but the process is similar, and you're going to end up with these additional files depending on whether you have these additional map mods. That's it. Now everybody can go to step two, which is how to install the mods into your game. Now we've got all the files that we need. If you've only got the two main files because you don't have any other maps in the game, you're only going to have two files in your downloads folder. You're going to have this Reforma file here, and then you're going to have the Reforma Mega Resources, just like we saw in there. If you have some of those connector patches, which I have here and I'm showing here, uh, they're going to work the same way as we're going to do right now. But everybody should have the Reforma and Reforma Mega Resources. Now, we have two things to do to install them in the game. You'll notice that these are, got the little zip icon here. These are zipped files, so we can't install them directly in the game. This way, we have to extract the files first. To do that, I'm going to click on the Reforma file here, and then I'm going to right-click, right-click, and I'm going to get Extract All. I'm going to select that, and I get a little confirmation window here. To keep it simple, I'm just going to extract them right here but I hit extract and the files unload. And now I get a window popping up that's showing me the contents of that folder. So I'm just gonna hit the red X in the top right to close out of that. And I can see now I have the original zip file and then I have a folder now with the Reforma files inside of it. I'm gonna do the same thing with project, with the Reforma Mega Resources. I'm gonna hit extract all, hit extract, and that goes up like this and that's extracting it. Now I can see now I've got a new folder here. The window's going to pop up and I'm going to close it. There we go. But I've got a new folder here with the files that I know I need are inside it. Now, for the compatibility patches, if you don't have other mod, map mods, you can ignore this. But I'll notice that if I'm using the minor urban overhaul map, that's already in this SCS file format, which is what we want. So we don't extract that one. Likewise, the Project Better Arizona connector is already SCS. We don't extract that one. The other maps patch, however, is zipped. So I am going to extract all for that one and just extract that file there. So that will be our last one. I'm going to close this window. And now I've got all the files that I need extracted into this folder. So now we've got all our files extracted. Now we have to actually install them into the game itself. This is really easy. All it's going to matter it mean is moving these files from the downloads folder to this folder on Windows, which is documents slash American Truck Simulator slash mod, and they go inside that mod folder. Now, if you don't have a mod folder, don't panic, just make one inside your American Truck Simulator game folder and you're good to go. But let's take a look how it's gonna work. We have to now copy the files from our downloads folder and put them into the uh, documents folder in the right place here. So uh, I'm gonna start here with the Reforma one. I'm gonna open it up and like, whoa, wait a second, there's three folder files in there. Do I need all three? No. The SCS file over here for the type, that's the mod name file that we want. We don't need the text ones. If you, if you put them in there, it's not a problem, but you don't need them. So I'm going to click here on Reforma, and I'm going to just come up to the top here, and I'm just going to click uh, Copy, which is right here, or however you want to copy it. So now I've got this Reforma file copied. Now I want to come to Documents. Now you're 
file structure and the way you display folders and stuff like that might look different. My document's on the left, but just go find your documents folder and click on that. And you can see I've got a bunch of games and stuff in here. I'm gonna double click on American Truck Simulator to open that up. And now I've got my mod folder. Open up your mod folder, don't put it outside the mod folder. Double click on mod folder and here are all of my American Truck Simulator mods that I've already installed. But I've got the file I need copied. Now I'm just gonna come up here to the top and I'm gonna click on paste and that will paste the file in. Now I've already got this installed, so it's gonna give me a warning that I'll be overwriting it. I'm just gonna close it out, but once you click paste, it's gonna go right into this folder. That's all we have to do. That's the reform a file. Now we just have to kind of lather, rinse, repeat. So the same thing, I'm gonna open up the mega resources file. I can see it right here. I don't need the readme. I'm gonna click on mega resources. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna to go to documents, American truck simulator, mod, go in the mod folder and paste it in there. Likewise, if I have any of these compatibility files, like the other maps patch, I'm gonna open that up, copy it, paste it in there. These, the Reforma compatibility, the MUO, the, the Minor Urban Overhaul and the Project Better Arizona are already opened up. They're already in SCS style. So I can just click on those, copy those and paste them in. So I'm gonna move whatever connector files I need and the Reforma mega resources and the Reforma file into Documents American Truck Simulator mod folder, inside that folder. Once we've done that, Everything's installed. Now we have to do is go in to activate them in the game. Let's move on to step three. Now let's learn how to activate the mods and get them in the right order in the game. So uh, first up, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, I can see the version number of the game. That's what I referenced before. And I can see it's 1.49 point something, something, something. So we're good to go from that perspective because that was the number on the mods. To get to the mod manager, I'm gonna click the yellow button here right in the middle of the screen and open up the mod manager. Now I'm inside and I've got a lot of mods in this save. So they're all over the place and stuff like that. But if you kind of scroll around in here, you should be able to find the files that you've installed. And I can see sure enough, here's my mega resources, which was one of the two essential files. And then down here, right by my head, Team Reforma, which is the other essential file. So if you only are installing Mexico and you don't have other maps that are gonna conflict with this, these are the only two files you need. And let's talk about how to put them into the game. So to install a mod, I can either double click on the mod or I can click the right arrow, the arrow part in here. So I'm gonna put the mega resources in and you can see it just went into the active mods list right at the top and stuff like that. And I'm gonna put team reforma in and that went up at the top of the list too. So those are the two that I've got. And those are the two essential ones that everybody needs. And the only ones you need if you're only installing Mexico and you don't have other maps installed. Now the question is, are these active mods, the Reforma mod and the Mega Resources in the correct order, right? Because I got a bunch of mods in here, real advertisements and photo camera limit and stuff like that. It's like, where do these go? And is it gonna be a problem if I don't put them in the right order? Can I just leave them there? This is absolutely important. You need to get the mods in the right order. Now, mods, the order of mods goes by the type of the mods. So user interface mods comes above a certain type of mod, which comes above another mod. And I'll put the list right up here so you can kind of see the general order. And we can see that map mods come at the very bottom. This is a problem, right? Because I got Reforma and Mega Re Resources at the top. So I'm gonna click on Reforma up here in the active mods list and way down in the bottom, I can see decrease priority. Now I can move it down one at a time. I click it once or I can click the button to the right. We're just gonna move it to the very bottom, which is gonna get me closer, right? So I just click that button and I can see now the Reforma mods come all the way to the bottom. Likewise, I'm gonna scroll up the top and I'm gonna pick the mega resources and I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna send it all the way to the bottom. Okay, now the question is though, what if I have other map mods installed? Do the map mods themselves have to go in a certain order? The answer is yes, they do. This can get quite complicated. So I'm going to show you a list and I'm gonna link it down below to which order all the maps go. But for the very simple part of installing the base Reforma and Mega Resources, the answer is Reforma and Mega Resources go at the very bottom unless you have Alaska installed, in which case they're gonna go above it. So I'm gonna increase the priority for Re uh, Reforma and I'm gonna increase the priority for Mega Resources. Now I've got Reforma and Mega Resources installed above Alaska at the very bottom of my load order and they're gonna work fine. Now, if you've been paying attention, you might also have a question to say, wait a second, does Reforma and Mega Resources have to go in a particular order? The answer is yes, they do. Reforma goes above Mega Resources in the load order. So that's it. If you don't have any other maps installed, you have successfully informed, installed Mexico, you should be able to open up the game and fire up the game and you can drive around in Mexico. However, 
if you have some of the other maps that conflict with it, you're wondering, wait a second, where do I put things like the Reforma compatibility mod? And where do I put things like the other connector for better Arizona and stuff like that? If I scroll around here, I can find those. Um, I'm not going to uh, talk about how to put those in there because the process is exactly the same. But down in the description is a master list. This master list is based on Quartermaster Logistics, which makes uh, mod lists and maps and kind of helps organize these things. They have a load order. And Revan Fan, who is a follower on this channel and has been super helpful in helping me to figure out the map mods, has kind of taken that list and made a very simplified master list. And I'm going to share that in a Google Doc that's linked down below. So if you have the Better Arizona compatibility patch, the connector patch, or you have this one up in here, which is the compatibility for other maps and stuff like that, you want to look at that document and see where they go in your load order. Likewise, the uh, minor urban overhaul, which I actually don't have installed, that's in that list too. And you want to make sure that you install the compatibility patch and those other patches, put them into your active mode, mat order, and then match them to that list. And you're going to be all set. With that, everybody now should be set to run Mexico in their game. I'm going to confirm my changes down here. Make sure you do that. Otherwise, you will lose them. So I'm going to confirm changes and we'll come out. And now when I fire up the game, we should go inside and we'll be able to see Mexico. So I've loaded up my game here. I'm going to click on world map, which is right over my shoulder beside my head here. I'm going to click on world map. And I'm going to scroll out and we can see that Mexico is installed in our game. I can see the yellow roads that are driven. Now, not the entire company country is installed. It doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, the southern part of Mexico. And this chunk of Mexico isn't here yet, um, but it is a massive mod. And one of the amazing things about it is all these like squiggly mountain roads that you can go. Some of the destinations are just crazy wild and fun and things like that. The Mexican towns, you're just going to love it. It is just such a fantastic mod. But we can see that everything's installed and the map's working great and all these kinds of things. And we are done. If we go into the game now, we can see that we are able to drive around in Mexico. And here we are. We fired up the game. If I look around, we can see we got Mexican stores. We're down here in the southern part of Mexico now. It is just a fantastic mod with tons of things to explore. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, if you're interested in seeing this in action, I'll put a link to one of our videos in our playthrough episodes that has us actually driving around in Mexico. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.